Okay, so about two weeks ago, I ordered um, some macro extension tubes for my Canon DSLR camera off of eBay. And they have now arrived, so we're gonna unbox them and have a quick look. Packaging a bit crushed, but okay. So this is a th the box for the three-piece macro extension tube set um, for Canon. Lightweight design, upgraded circuitry to work better with digital SLR cameras. Extension tubes are designed to enable a lens to focus closer than its normal set of minimum focusing distances. Getting closer has the effect of magnifying your subject, making it appear larger than in the viewfinder. They are exceptionally useful for macro photography, enabling you to convert almost any lens into a macro lens at the fraction of the cost while maintaining its original optical quality. Right, so let us open it up and have a look. Okay, so it comes in a little pouch with are these instructions? Yep, with instructions. Okay, so just a very quick scan over of the instructions and directions for use, and I'm sure if you want to, you can pause and read through them properly. Uh, but quickly, as you can see, it covers a little bit about the attachments before shooting how to attach. Um, lenses, exposures, some precautions, um, image magnification ratios um, and exposure factors and this is from a standard 50mm lens. So let's have a look at what we have. The bag um, yeah, feels a bit cheap to be honest. Kind of like fake velvety material that you know is probably going to degrade in a few years but we'll see how that holds up okay so here we have the tube set yeah these feel these do feel quite plasticky and brittle like if I was to drop them they would break so probably not overly strong right again you can feel the plastic there's a little bit of play actually you can probably see it um, see the movement in between the uh, tubes. Alright, so to undo it just simply, there's not a lot of movement in that actually, just clip down and turn. That's the first one, and turn. Okay so we have a 13mm tube, a 21mm tube and a 31mm tube. Each tube has some metal contacts which go all the way through and should hopefully make contact with the camera and the lens, allowing all the functions to still work. But I'll test it out and see how well that works later. So connecting back up, you have an arrow and a dot. Very simple, insert and turn. So this gives a total diameter of 65 millimeters. Right, so let's look at attaching these to my camera and a couple of lenses. I am going to see how it works on my 18 to 135 millimeter and my prime 50 millimeter. Just a quick connect up and see if the, all the functions still function, whether it auto focuses, um, exposes correctly. Okay, let's see. I think I'll start off with just a small one. Oh, 
Okay, let's see. Good start. Second time I've tried to undo it and it's already stiff. Or not working. Okay, let's try it with 31 millimeter. As you can see there is a square there which you'd assume you'd connect level with that but you don't use the arrow on the red dot. Okay so doesn't feel overly secure. Let's see how we get on. You can see I'm almost on top of the box. To get that, so that's fairly close. And I am on top of the box to get that level, so I'm right up against it. And that's at just under 50 mil on this lens. Okay, let's try a 50 mil. Okay, connects on quite securely. Let's see how we go on. So I'm about five to 10 centimeters away. All right, so now I've got it on closest focus manually and yeah, so I'm around 10 centimeters from the subject. With 31 millimeter. Okay, and again, there appears to be problems with the locking mechanism. So, I am finding it a little difficult to get my 50 mil off of the extension tube. Okay, so after a bit of practice of trying to work out how to use this uh, locking mechanism, I think I've established that the easiest way of doing it is just slightly pull out and pull down. Once you've done that, you can just twist the lens off. So I presume it's probably a little safety feature that stops accidental unlocking. Um, but actually fairly simple once you get used to it. Slide your finger under, push down and twist. And that action seems to be enough just to pull it out slightly push it down and it's undone so again just finger under which pulls the metal lock forward slightly and once you pull it forward just push down with your thumb and twist off there we go